Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play All of Us Legacy, where we are, well, not back in town. I kind of decided to just move on upwards toward these other, this other set of save points. And, well, actually, let's just take a quick look, see if we can even go anywhere from here. Well, we can. Um, so, sure, let's see how far we can get and where that might lead us. Just ignore that guy, I guess. Are there screens above this? Uh, no. Not according to the map. Ouch. Um, don't know why I hesitated there. Hmm, there's a weird... Oh, whoa! Okay. There are multiple weird things. I was actually talking about that... Ouch. About that... What looked like a closed eyeball. <laughs> in the wall there. And then it started to shoot. Okay, that's interesting. Also, I did not expect to run sideways into those spikes and hurt myself, so... That came out of nowhere. So, uh, that's interesting. Is that gonna activate from anywhere? Oh, no, I guess I do need to be close enough. And if you're not close enough, it will not fire. Hmm, interesting. Looks like we're approaching some sort of evil castle, though. Oh, no. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, that's a wall. Um, okay. I didn't expect that to stop me. Another wall there, on the way down. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it shows an entrance, but... How would I even... Oh! Interesting. Pressing up and attacking. Pressing up and, and the attack button casts a spell. Interesting. So that's why... Um, okay, that's, that explains why I was uh, sometimes casting bubbles mid-air uh, when trying to jump through that... Um, that, uh, that red tombstone hanging from the ceiling, wasn't it? Huh. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess it's convenient, maybe? Is it, though? Is it really gonna help? Not sure. Hmm, so I have no idea how to even... how that would even open. I mean, maybe we just press a, press some sort of switch and those side walls will get out of the way? Because they don't seem to react to my attacks, like unlike some other walls that have, you know, had a little hit marker, hit indicator, seemingly. Wow, that thing fires fast. Right. Forget about that. I thought I was getting ready to dodge it, but I guess I was not ready. <sighs> wow, really? Okay. Can you try to jump over it? Yeah, okay, that's definitely better. How do I want to cross this, though? I guess I can just walk. Wait for the next thing. Activate spike protection and... Don't get shot while under there. Wow. Okay, that's that was perfectly timed. Of course, if I hadn't taken damage beforehand, I would have been fine. Hmm. That's interesting. I mean, okay, we did explore quite a bit in that direction. Let's take a look over here and see if we can either run into a dead end immediately or maybe get something done over this way. I guess I never actually saved at this one. Can we just climb that beard, by the way? No, we cannot do that because... Oh, wow, okay. Hmm, I suppose those guys are there to prevent me from doing exactly that. Hmm. And this is... Yeah, okay. That's... That guy sucks that from all the way over there. We have dark guys. Wait. Oh, can we actually... Hold on. Can we actually drop blocks on you? We totally can! Wow. Okay. That's cool. Uh, wait. This is another situation where it prevents me specifically... <gasps> or does it? Maybe if I can... Oh, I can't bubble here. Wait. Isn't that gonna be enough? That's totally enough. What? 
Uh, I thought I was supposed to push down this block so I can, you know, stack two blocks on top of each other and that way gain enough height to jump to the ladder from there, which I can almost do. Wait. Oh, I can almost do it. Almost, but not quite, actually. It's interesting. If I bubble from here, though, that's too high. So I'm not really sure what the idea is here. But, I mean, I can just do this. <laughs> that seems like a pretty glaring oversight if it is one. Hmm. I have no idea. Oh, there's a... a dude that I'm gonna kill just because... Just because I can't... Ooh. A gold nugget? Oh, maybe the blacksmith can make something out of that. Hmm. What are the odds of me being able to reach that now? Definitely expecting something to prevent me from getting it, but then again, who knows? Hmm. Should be able to just jump across like this. Yep. Was there any reason to drop down here? I don't think there is. Also, there's a sneaky shadow dude over there. Which I can't just ignore. Like so. Hey, bearded guy. Wait. Um, wow, I have such a bad memory. Is the... No, this is a... Obviously... <laughs> this is obviously the source of the beard that I saw, so... Do I drop down here? Ah. Stupid freaking shadow creature. Oh, wait. Oh, it is on this. Oh, okay. I forgot that there was an intermediary beard screen. I was so focused on the gold nugget that I completely missed the huge beard dangling there, so. That's bad. That's my bad. Did not need to be so risky. Okay, so we definitely want to make it past the beard guy. No! Really? Okay, another very tight jump. That is possible, though, as we saw. Wait. Get rid of that guy. It's definitely possible, but, I mean, the placement of that uh, bubble sucker... <laughs> Makes me believe, it, once again, that I'm not actually supposed to go here without some sort of tool that makes me immune to those, or makes my bubbles immune to those. Yeah, it's not gonna work, but... I mean, I made the jump before. Like so. Alright. Wait, now... I also should have just looked around here a bit more. So now I don't know what I even want to do here. Oh, I can't do anything. <gasps> Except I can. Because I can definitely climb that. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. I hope it doesn't hurt too much. Don't mind me. Hi. Halt. <laughs> Who's that climbing my beard like we've known each other for the longest of times? Heavens to Betsy, a stranger. Heavens to Betsy, a stranger. What business would a stranger have in these here forlorn caverns? Sorry about the beard. I was just exploring the caves. Looks like you've been here for quite some time. I came here for a reason, see? But that was in the in the bygone era. What I was looking for? That's none of your beeswax. <laughs> Truth be told, I can't seem to remember. But it ought to be around here somewhere. <laughs> Are you talking about that huge clump of gold, perhaps? Drink gold bullion. Glitters nicely as it waits to be cast and forged. Hint, hint. Can probably be turned into something useful by a blacksmith. Oh, I wonder what kind of upgrade it could be. I have no idea. That's not what you were looking for, was it? Hold it right there. Where did you find that goalie brick? I've spent so many years trying to remember what I was after and where it could be hiding. Dang it. To tell the truth, it just kind of lay there in the open. <clears throat> uh, at least go get it smelted into something nice. That's what I was going to do. Okay, thanks for not taking it away from me. Huh. Well, that was a worthwhile endeavor. 
presumably. I mean, that must be some kind of major upgrade, right? Whatever this turns into. Hmm, that's cool. Um, let's see, we have... We can go up either way. Either side. Screw you, little wizard. Little wizard robe. Hmm. Yeah, it seems pretty much... It pretty much doesn't matter which side you choose, unless there is some hidden path on one side or another. Hmm. You can definitely get that pearl easily enough. Pearl. Orb. Same thing. Oh, hey, that's nice. Didn't expect the bubble to last that long. Um, yeah, we can just jump across. Nothing stopping me. Just pick that up. Don't even need to worry about those skeletons at all. Oh, what? Oh, hey! Get by the, uh, get him with the, uh, bubble explosion. Forgot about that. Um, right. And again, wait. Yeah, we can't really do anything on the right side either way, so we can only go up here. Did he hit me? Actually? Oh. Good job. What? Seriously? Did I not cast a spell? Am I crazy? I thought it got off. Hmm. Interesting. That didn't hit. Hmm. I feel like I should probably be able to get up there, right? That didn't hit. Um, I mean, I kind of like the help, honestly. I kind of need it. I have to jump from the freaking bubble. This is so annoying. And dangerous. There we go. And, okay, he didn't drop anything. Hmm. Now that I look at the setup, though, I don't know how I could possibly reach the, the orb. I can't stand on this. So I can definitely get up there. Oh, well, I mean, maybe this just shifts it over. That was easy enough. And that just deletes that. Interesting. But I cannot... Oh, okay. Eternal bubble. Yep. Of course. With an eternal, bu eternal bubble, I could just rise up that that shaft over there. Hmm. Another tiny rose gravestone. Another one of these stone tablets. I wonder if these mean anything. Hmm. Library? Back entrance? Oh, interesting. We had not been here at all, but there's also nowhere to go. Really? No way. Just solid walls? Are you kidding? You can't be right. Can it? Is there, is there a hint that there's uh, some kind of entrance from up here? Hmm. Not that I can tell. That is very, very weird. I mean, over there is one of the ghouls I'm supposed to kill. We're missing, what, four more, I think? Something like that? Huh. Very strange. What is the purpose of this? The wall doesn't seem to react to my attacks, so... I don't know, I can't drop through the floor, I can't jump through the ceiling or walls, so... Yeah, I'm, I have no idea. What is this? Oh, okay. This weird little yellow tip is actually just one of these uh, treetops here. This is really strange. Well, I mean, at least we I know that I can eventually get another uh, orb that way, as soon as I can ride a bubble in indefinitely, so that's nice. 
And of course we did get the nugget, so that's really good. Um, there's the ominous castle where I didn't explore all the way past it or down. But I think for now I want to go visit the blacksmith. Use warp. We can also only put another and uh, put a couple of orbs into to use. Oh no, actually we can't. We do have seven. We need. Oh, well, we could get this for what it's worth. Uh, we're getting pretty, well. I mean, we're getting ever closer to being able to get the unlimited bubble. We already have ten. 10 out of 16 orbs necessary. So that's cool, that's good to know. Hmm. Maybe I'll take another look at the possible upgrades. Remind myself. Uh, I mean, I, of course I could try the, the floating thing if I can reach that. Yes. Uh, hit your block to send it off. Right. Um. Okay, it's this one. So I can definitely easily get that. And I mean, I don't really need the uh, the block combination, as far as I can tell. I guess it was useful for that one puzzle that we found, where I needed to be green to hit this to activate the switch. But otherwise, it, other other than that, it's it doesn't really seem to ever be useful. So maybe uh, I'll just see what I can do with this floating block. Maybe that way I can actually make it to the to the rightmost leftmost boss there. Hmm. But first, blacksmith. Who should be here? Yes. Awesome. Please be something good. Whoa, sister! That must be a straight up a twenty-four karat gold bullion. It's beautiful. Twenty-four karat? Is that that much? I'm telling you, inspiration's running running high right now. Would you let me work it? Sure. Sure, let's hear inspiration flow. That's what I like to hear. I'll show you why they call me the Anvil Artisan. Uh, called me the Anvil Artisan back at the guild. Okay. Are you gonna do it? I need to embrace my creative process for a while. Why don't you come back later? Really? How much later? What will determine the laterness? Ah, oh, come on. At least give me some kind of hint as to what you consider later, game. Hmm. Well, we have the floating block now. I mean, we could have had that before, but we have it again now. Uh, you know what? Never mind. While I'm here, and while I remember, I am going to uh, see what I can do about this, um, about the catacombs entrance, and maybe unlocking. What, really? Oh, that's unfortunate. Last time I was able to grab the letter. I guess I would have been able to, but I just failed to press up at the right time. That's fine. It's actually literally right here. Okay, there we go. I mean... Okay, it does start floating, so... That's good to know. And it also grows spikes now, which is kind of cool. Maybe not that useful, but pretty cool. Right, yeah, and I just saw this and noped out of this. Understandably, I, I want to say. I definitely understand my decision. Um, another one of those things. Oh, hey, there's a red up there. Is that meaningful? Does he light anything interesting up now? Doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Can't really see anything anywhere. Oh, there. no! Freaking platform to land on. Okay, you just die, please. Thank you. Huh? Could that have been useful? Could that have, that have led anywhere useful? I should say. Well, who knows. There we go, another uh, orb earned, and the shortcut has been opened. That was easy. Of course, I have no desire or reason to be down here for the time being. Just wanted to open that. 
just because why not? Nothing in here. Hmm. There's no visible connection to that to that tier. Wait, didn't I reset the room? Oh, I did, but the box doesn't return. Okay. Not that I needed to, but still I thought that was gonna happen. Okay, let's see here. Where was that? Pretty central-ish. Oh, hey. Yeah, that's a breakable wall. If I could break it. If I had a better staff or something, or maybe just the uh, more destructive fireball. I've also definitely noticed some uh, stone barriers that seem similar to the wooden barriers that I can burn with, the, with this normal spark. But that look obviously a lot sturdier, so maybe, maybe we can break those and maybe also these cracked walls that we've seen here and then, here and there. Um, maybe, maybe we can break those with the upgraded super fireball. Hmm, anyway, we did get another orb and the shortcut unlocked, so that's nice. Um, well, I'm dead. That's fine, actually. That's totally okay. Let's see if enough time has passed. Probably not. I wonder, though, what the German said. Is it just in-game in -game time? Pen oh! Never mind. Maybe it is in-game time and <laughs> it just goes really quickly. Finally, you're back! One of my ideas... Uh, once my ideas settled, I fired up the furnace and started working like a woman possessed. Hmm, now... Hmm, now I present to you a Letharic Bell. This might be one of my greatest pieces yet. A bell? Interesting. Forged with a loop for hanging. Its toll carries far and vibrates powerfully. Not like any other bell, try mounting it somewhere suitable. Well, I mean, I was going to go to a place that has a place that's suitable. As it so happens. I, uh, yeah, I have to go there, go back there manually. On foot, that is. And uh, I guess I'll pause recording and do that, make my way all the way back, back over to the, the water side there. And, uh, yeah, see you there in a second. And here we are. So we mount the bell and ring it. That other bell that we saw, oh. Oh, and then we take it back. And we can't use it here anymore. Interesting. I think, as, well, I saw a broken structure like this, or partially crumbled, that I don't think we can mount the bell in. But it's interesting that we did take it back, so uh, that that implies that we can use it somewhere else. Hmm. Also, apparently no need to have the floating block to cross this. Yeah. Huh. Well, we'll have to find some way to open this, and... I don't know, something tells me that... I don't have the means yet! No! Really? So all this did was nothing, unfortunately. <laughs> Apparently I can go up from here, for what it's worth. Hmm. Eternal Bubble will get me a uh, an orb up there. Unfortunately, this room is now on the map, so I won't easily remember to check that out once I have the, the bubble. But that's okay. Um, yeah, and we, we saw the switch down here. But those are the stone barriers that I was talking about. I feel like we'll be able to break those with some future upgrade. But yeah, not for the time being. Okay, well, as it turns out, I did not need the floating block at all. And um, while it would have uh, carried me across there, it wouldn't have helped. So that's a little bit of a letdown. Hmm. I mean, at least now I know. In that case, uh, we weren't able to continue... Yeah, no, we, we were done uh, with the, that tower climb. I don't... Oh yeah, of course, no, no, I now I remember that um, the room where I couldn't progress is actually part of the library. That was that weird dead end, yeah. yeah. Um, 
Well, there is the, the castle in the upper area of Central Alba, of course, of which we ha still only have 50% uh, explored, which is crazy, so that's a huge area. Mm. But yeah, I definitely want to check out if I can possibly enter that. Although, I mean, Mr. Tipgiver said that I'm, I'm supposed to head to the southeast, so that's probably the only place I can go. The more I explore and find all kinds of dead ends, the more I, uh, I'm convinced that there probably aren't really that many options for major progression. Of course, there's, you know, minor things to explore every, everywhere, which is cool, but uh, yeah, probably there's probably a fixed order for the main bosses at least. Looking forward to, like I usually do, um, watch some speedruns of this game once I've beaten it myself and be amazed at the ways the, that people have found ways to, you know, the, the ways that people have found to break this game, break the intended order of things. Yeah, anyway, um, well, I, I mean, the episode is still a bit on, on the short side, so maybe I'll make my way all the way over to, the, uh, to that weird castle entrance and uh, explore maybe downward from there first. That's a bit of a walk, but it's okay. Um, yeah, I well, guess I'll meet you there and we'll do some more exploration before we call it an episode. Uh, see you in a second. All right, we are here. Wait, this is not where I said we were gonna be because actually I went ahead and uh, rearranged my, my uh, upgrades a little bit because I figured that the bubble projectile wasn't really doing much for me at all. And I wanted to give this Lightning Orb a try. Uh, Shooting Lightning produces an energy orb that hurts enemies. So I did that, and... Oh, actually, I can't really... Just, uh, I can't really... Demonstrate that here very well. Uh, I just... This is just a... This is not the place that I was gonna check out. But uh, this is an example of these stone barriers that are definitely breakable via some sort of means. Oh, wow, that's nice. So, here we can see what it does. Actually, yeah, it just shoots out this ball, which does bounce on the ground and from walls, and that gave me an idea. We'll see if I can actually do anything with it. This is the place that I was thinking of. Oh, I think I... That does not work? Oh, come on. Really? Are you sure? That does not trigger. I thought for sure that was the solution, because it's... It does? Wait, it's just extremely finicky. Wow, I was so ready to give up. I did not actually think it was going to work. Well, I mean, that's neat. <laughs> now I got another tier. That gives us, well, a total of three now? Holy moly. Um, it's nice to have all these options. Well, that's what I was going to get. And, I mean, it seemed like a perfect, like the, you know, a perfectly logical solution. And then I was so all the more baffled by it not working. I was over here again. Forget what was stopping me. Obviously not something easy to overcome. Oh, well, what's stopping me is that that upper part of the room is actually completely separate, at least seemingly. I mean, it does seem to be connected to that elevator, but I think the other end of that, if I'm not mistaken, is just embedded in a wall below here. Seemingly completely unreachable, unless... Oh no, this is where where we got the um, lightning upgrade in the first place. Yeah. No visible way to get there at all. This is so bizarre. How could we possibly ever get there? From the other side, but... I mean, I have been thinking about that. But I just don't don't know. Oh well. Hey Saga. Good Johnny Zeo. Zoe. <laughs> Zeo. <laughs> Zoe, and when you don't know where to go, look at your map. Yeah, thanks. Very helpful. Got anything to tell me about these weird locked little cells like this one? <laughs> hmm. And what's the meaning of this of the empty one to the side? Is that, is that some sort of hint? It's gotta be some kind of hidden passage, right? game. What are you doing to me? Anyway, that's... Uh, yeah, I, we, we did get something out of this. So that's neat. And we have this offensive little upgrade. I mean, it's kind of 
tricky to aim, but I guess it's an extra way to attack. That seems more useful than the exploding bubble. And of course now we have reached the 30 minute mark, so I guess I'm gonna save exploring around that castle for next time after all. I'm not really expecting that to lead too much. After my recent experiences, I'm, I don't think that we'll be able to open that right now, but there are two more, at least two more screens that we haven't seen that might have something to collect. Maybe just some extra orbs, maybe a rose petal, um, or something else. Or maybe I can make progress, who knows. Um, but if nothing else, we can definitely just keep going uh, east from the from that eastmost warp point and definitely get something done with that southeastern boss. If you know, if all else fails. Anyway, uh, we'll explore some of those options next time. As always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, unless it's very inconvenient for reasons. And I shall see you real soon. Bye bye.